Have you ever needed to do a quick mathematical operation in Neovim without leaving your file? Let me show you how I do this. So I'm just going to start typing some inline text here. Notice that I typed the semicolon. And let's say that I need to divide this 658 by 2. And I need to add it 658. I'm just going to close the back tick here. Notice what happened. Let's say that I need to do the same thing with the 1024. I'm just going to open another back tick here. And I'm going to do the same thing. 1024 divided by 2 plus... 1024 and I'm just going to close the back tick here or let's say that at work you're asked to calculate some stuff and send it over Slack and open another back tick here semicolon and let's say that we spend 123 a day that is times 30 I'm going to close the back tick so that means that we're spending a year again open the back tick semicolon now I'm going to type here 3690 times 12 and I'm going to close the back tick and let's say that, for example, you're working on a renewal and you need to add 25% room for the next year. Add another back tick here. And I'm also going to add the semicolon. Now I'm going to type here 44280 times 0 0.25 plus 44280. And I'm going to close the back tick. I'm not sure if there is something like this that exists for any of them already. Just let me know and I'll be more than happy to use it. Notice the next item that I have here replaces these two symbols, X and the division. I'm going to do here. 10 times and I'm going to use an X here 20 notice that I'm going to close this and it automatically calculated it for me notice that I added a safety mechanism I'm gonna open a back tick here and I'm going to do 10 X 20 for example and I'm gonna close it notice that nothing happened why because I didn't add the semicolon after the first back tick the next item that I have here is that it does not only work in markdown files I'm going to go to my dot files real quick I'm going to add a back tick here semicolon and I'm just going to do 20 X 20 and I'm going to close this and it's automatically going to calculate it there as well it also works manually in normal mode and it also works in insert mode I'm in normal mode and I'm going to type here alt 3 even if I'm in insert mode and I'm going to type here alt 3 notice the next item that I have here I'm using mini that pairs which is a plugin that automatically closes your symbols so for example if I come here to the file and I type a parentheses notice that I get the pair automatically so what I did is that I disabled this for the back tick and this is where I disabled that I set it to false also before I forget let me show you where the code for this is it's in my keymaps.lua file markdown inline calculator you just need to grab the code that is shown here and we scroll all the way down if we keep scrolling down here is the key map and notice that i also have an auto command which is the one that automatically calculates operations when i close a back tick did i use variables or am i planning on including them let me open this link real quick so you can see something pretty cool principal period then it calculates using those variables and you can see the result here on the right hand side i'm not planning on doing this as of now but let me know what you think in the comments before i let you go take a look at this 